Do you need a certain number of listings to be successful on Etsy? If you don't pay for ads, will Etsy hide your listings? Does Etsy hate vintage sellers? Stick around as we bust some juicy Etsy myths with Kara Bunton on this episode of The Jam. What is up? Welcome to The Jam. I am Gordon from Marmalade. I'm Richie from Marmalade. And we have a very special guest with us here today. We have Kara Bunton from A Cake to Remember with us. Thank you for joining us again, Kara. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what to say. People are going to be sick of me, but this is the last one. This is the last time. Okay. For now. I mean, we're going to have you back eventually. For now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you guys don't know Kara, you should check out her YouTube channel, A Cake to Remember, or you can search for Kara Bunton on YouTube. We'll have a link in the description below. Today, we're going to be talking about some myths. And this is always fun, busting some myths. There's a lot of conspiracies, ideas of things that are going on out there in the Etsy space. And it's always fun to take a look at those. And, you know, is there any truth to this? Or is this just crazy? We're going to dive in and start busting some myths. The first one we have for you, Kara, is does the number of listings that I have in my shop really matter on Etsy? Is there like a magic number that I should be shooting for? People throw out a hundred a lot. I've heard that. Is that true? I love that number. No, it's not true. You can have one listing in your shop and sell a ton of it because you're driving your own traffic and then Etsy likes it because you're selling it and they keep showing it and they keep showing it and you keep selling it. It doesn't matter. In general, it's better to have more listings on Etsy just because it, it rolls the dice more. You know, like if, if they've got more listings to choose from, then you have a more likely chance of being shown. But you don't have to have any, and there's no guarantee that when you get to a certain number, your sales will take off. That is a myth. False. <laughs> eh. Eh. Okay. Here's another one for you. There is too much competition and you just can't be successful on Etsy. Incorrect. Because I think people, there's competition if you're searching for women's jewelry. But if you're, if you're searching for, you know, baptism gift for the baby from the godparents, there's very little competition for that. So it's all about your keywords. Anybody can sell things. And there's a lot that goes into that. But, you know, people still buy things that are in competitive categories. It's more difficult but it's still possible. And I love it when people say, I'm going to go make my own website. I'm getting off of Etsy. It's too competitive. It was like, okay, well, now you're competing with the internet. So good luck with that. <laughs> but no, Etsy is not too competitive. It just is how you go about it. And that's a eh, no, false. Yeah, it's, it's a good point about keeping in mind that people need to niche down for certain markets, right? Like you're saying, you wouldn't want to just say, uh, I sell jewelry. <laughs> like, well, yeah, okay, that's fine. But people aren't going to find you for that. You know, you really need to be much more descriptive about what you're actually selling. And don't be afraid to do that. Because as people go through that sales process, they're going to start maybe searching for jewelry. But eventually, they're going to land on exactly what it is that they're trying to find. And, and that's when you want to show up is when they're ready to click that purchase button. That's right. Oh, here's an interesting one. Being in a different country can slow your sales. I'm in Canada and I was told that U.S. sellers will rank higher than me as I am not in the U.S. That That is not true rank wise. Canada has localized search, which means that if you are in Canada selling in Canada, your listings are going to be shown to Canadian customers before American customers in Canada. So to me, that would seem like it's an advantage. But I, you know, I have heard anecdotal evidence that it's kind of slowed sales from the U.S. It could be other stuff. But as far as is placing in search, it doesn't have any effect on U.S. searches because I see, you know, international shops all the time, and the U.S. doesn't have localized search specifically where we see only American results first. So that's that might be a toss up. Theoretically, it doesn't. I think that Etsy does tend to show people things that are closer to them. I don't even have a symbol for that. Un undecided. I can't do undecided. the Undecided. Plausible. Undecided. Okay, right. Undecided. I will do the thumb, one thumb up, one thumb down. Like, which one is it? <laughs> yeah, it, it could just be like shipping costs. I mean, it just, it costs more to ship and it takes longer. So yeah. that could affect international sales too. That's a very good point. Maybe, you know, in these cases, it's $30 to ship something that costs 20. Well, that's gonna yeah, slow exactly. things down. I wanna take a moment to thank you for tuning in to the Jam by Marmalade. Marmalade helps guide you to keywords that real Etsy shoppers are using so you can get more sales doing what you love. Check out Marmalade in the link in the description or at M-A-R-M-A-L-E-A-D.com. 
If you don't run ads on Etsy, they will lower your ranking. Ads just don't seem to convert for me. Should I run them anyway so that I don't get dinged for not running them? You don't, no, you don't get dinged for not running ads. I don't run ads in any of my shops and I have sales in all three of my shops and one is very old and has a lot of sales. One is brand new last year and has a fair number of sales when I make an effort to go and do other stuff. And one just kind of sits there. It's my digital shop. And I sell maybe like one thing a day, but I don't run ads in any of them. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't have any kind of direct association. Like if you run ads, we're going to show you better in search results. It doesn't work like that. The organic search result algorithm is different from the ads. And if you sell things through ads, it will help that listing's visibility, but they're not going to punish you for not running ads. We'll just put it that way. So that's a, eh, no, false. Don't run ads if you can't afford them. And they don't work for everybody. We've talked about that. (laughs) (laughs) We have talked about that. Link in in the description. (laughs) Placing your shop in vacation mode will hurt your sales. This is 100% true as they emailed me and told me that my shop would no longer rank where it used to in search results. That is, that's true when you first come back because Etsy uses recent activity as one of the ranking factors for your search placement. So if you've been on vacation, you haven't had any recent activity because you've been on vacation. So they're missing a whole piece of information. And they, they do things like, you know, if we put this listing on the second row in the first position, how many people will click on it? They look at that kind of stuff all the time. And if they don't have that information, then there's one entire factor that's just gone for a while. It doesn't take very long to get back to your normal activity if you do certain things when you come back from vacation mode. So it's, it's not a permanent situation. It's just temporary. And you just have to plan for that. So you, there's certain things you're going to have to do when you come back from vacation mode to get your sales going again. Again, and to get the activity going and then you should be fine that's a one of these there you go <laughs> there is truth to it i've heard that if you have a keyword in your title you don't need to repeat it in your tags but then i also hear the opposite which one's true the opposite well it depends on the keyword if it's a keyword that you think is really accurate and relevant for that listing and it tells etsy this is exactly what this thing is then you should put it in your tags too and if you do your keyword research and you find which word order is good put it in your title and your tags in exactly the same word order and etsy has said that's the one of the strongest signals that you can use to tell them yes this is a really good keyword and that's what this thing is what about if comments versus bars you, when I'm separating my phrases in my title? Uh, it, does it make a difference from one to the other? This is a weird question. I saw this thread in the Marmalade Facebook group, and I, I I just write everything like a sentence, and I always have, because it you have to take not only the computer, but the customer into account. And as long as you're giving the machine the keywords you can still phrase that as a readable sentence for a customer so that they don't stop and say, what did I just read? Which a lot of people do with a lot of Etsy titles. I've heard people say, don't put a period in your title because it won't read anything past the period. That makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, any kind of measurements, you're going to be in tough shape then. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) you know, just use good grammar and you'll be fine. But it doesn't really care about punctuation. That's Don't confuse the people. Don't confuse the shoppers. Yeah, that's a good point. What about people who have accidentally opened more than one shop using that 40 free listings perk? Are they both going to get shut down? What's what's going to happen? No, I, I saw this too. I don't think that that's a problem. I you know if, if anything, Etsy is just going to charge you $8 to make up for that. But I don't think that'll even happen. It's probably not a high priority. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, honestly, if you are really concerned about something, you can write to Etsy or you can call them or chat with them. They have a little chat button. And anytime I talk to them, they say, please tell people that they can ask us questions. It's OK. The last one we've got for you, and this is what this will be good because I know you have a vintage shop, is that Etsy doesn't care about vintage sellers. Etsy doesn't care about yeah, Etsy does care about vintage sellers. You know, it's, I think everybody feels like Etsy doesn't care. I've heard Etsy doesn't care about supplies. I think Etsy talks more about vintage than they do about supplies. I sell supplies. Etsy doesn't care about supplies. No, Etsy does care about vintage sellers. They, they have commercials with vintage in it. I've seen ads for vintage, you know, it, it's, yeah, I mean, whatever. I, I can't even address that. How about this on a scale of one to 10? How much does Etsy care about vintage sellers? Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I know that when I know that when Josh, the CEO of Etsy, does 
investor presentations from his home. He has a set of Hardy Boys vintage books on his bookshelf because I noticed that. And so he enjoys vintage. I'm sure that the Etsy people love vintage because, you know, they they're a bunch of hipsters. They like vintage stuff. Don't don't feel like you're being ignored. You have to do the work to get noticed. You can't just put something up there and then expect people to beat a path to your doorway. You have to get do the work. And it's the same for anybody. I like it. I do too. That's a good one. We'll end on that note. Thank you so much for joining us to bust these myths, Carrot. Awesome job going through those. <laughs> it's always fun. And I'm sure we'll have you back on the jam again in the future. It's always great to talk with you. If you uh, everybody give else. this video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Oh, that's up. always, yeah, that's helpful too. And subscribe and share. And subscribe and share, that's right. And hit that <laughs> notification bell. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Smash that like so. button, do it. <laughs> Smash that like button. Smash that like button. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. I'm going to put that in all our videos now. You should. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. It's always fun having you. And for everyone else, we will see you guys next time on The Jam. <laughs>